Hello again, everyone. In this technical analysis of the stock market video, the bull is still running. We're going to take a look at the NASDAQ composite, both the daily and weekly. I'm going to look at an alternate chart for the NASDAQ also. Uh, then we're going to look at one of my key indicators, and that's why I've got the circles on the chart. And then check in with Facebook and Apple. They seem to be in sync with two different scenarios, so stay tuned. All right, let's start off here with the NASDAQ composite index. It was up a little bit on Friday. Uh, but like all the markets, the markets were up big. The Dow was up almost 300 points on Friday, and it closed the day up 55. The Nasdaq closed up 6.6. .6. And, uh, you know, we're getting potentially a little breakdown in here. This 10-day exponential is crossed below the 21 simple. I've got the 10 exponential, 21 simple, 55 simple. That's what I use on my charts. And we're getting this cross for the first time to the downsides. We've only had two other ones this year. And that's uh, as we entered into the February swoon and into the uh, late March swoon. Uh, so now the real question is, is that what we're about to get here uh, in the NASDAQ composite. And the, the NDX, the NASDAQ 100, is almost identical to the wave count that we've got here on the composite. Now, the, the, the picture, I mean, the wave count I've got is a, uh, a wave count that says five waves have been complete. We have a fourth wave triangle and that we had five waves up and that five waves completed on June 9th, okay? That's one picture. The ultra bulls will say, oh, that's just, you know, that's just uh, wave one, and we're going to have wave two, then we're going to have wave three, and then four, and it's going to just keep on going. And, you know, you never know. We'll see what happens. I'm going to stick with this. This last leg up in here was not confirmed by the 52-week new highs. It's not being confirmed by... Uh, indicators. Uh, and then I've got these little elliptical things we're going to come back to. These uh, uh, We're going to talk about what's going on with the on these days in here. Right now we're getting a little bit of a breakdown. We'll see how much further we get with this. The alternate count I've got on this, on the NASDAQ, is that we have some kind of an ending diagonal. That fourth wave ended here in February in a very sharp zigzag not over here with the triangle that I just showed you, and that we're doing an ending diagonal, which is a series of three waves, okay? So one, two, three, and that we'd have a fourth. That means this wave to the downside is still developing. We could pull back a little bit higher in here. We took put, put in a zigzag to the downside, and my expectation would be that it would come a little lower before it turned around and rallied again and probably challenging the old highs, maybe inching to a little bit higher. Uh, it's hard to say right now. we got to take one leg at a time and we'll just watch and see where does this go. Now, this trend line, I drew this trend line in here assuming that there was a point here, okay? So it's kind of a preliminary thing. This is what I'm watching for on an alternate count, okay? So this is my primary count which would mean this primary count, which means we're going to continue breaking down. Okay, so that's what we're looking at here on the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ weekly, here's the weekly picture. It was down 182 points for the week. Pretty negative after that little doji candle last time. And we closed below three weeks worth of trading. Okay, and we literally practically gave back all of June is what we did here this last week. Now, the bulls kind of came back the last couple of days, and, and that's why you get this close above the low in here. It's really, really interesting watching this trend line connecting wave two and wave four lows. That trend line breaks. I think we're going to be in for some major breakdown, major selling. I love the, this beautiful long-term bullish channel that this has been in. Just a beautiful channel. And here we are up here right at the top, bumping again at the top, and we're very close to it uh, with that uh, high that was made the week ending June 22nd. That was last week. Uh, well, I say last week. Yeah, yeah I, I talk about this as the current week, which is Friday, close on Friday. All right, so that's the weekly chart. So I want to take a look. Let me, take, let me go back to the primary chart. And what am I talking about here? Put to call ratio. Okay, so I keep track of the Chicago Board of Options Exchange equity put to call ratio, okay? This means 69 puts for every 100 calls on the Chicago Board of Options Exchange 
equity only. This is stocks only, okay? This is the 10-day moving average of that number, okay? Just 10-day simple moving average of that number. When it gets below 0.6, I color it yellow. When it gets below 0.55, I color it red. When it gets below 0.55, below 0.50, I take it even darker, okay? So this is extreme bullishness that occurred 14, 15, 18. See how it all built this last, during this last leg? And here was the peak of it, okay? Well, when was the last time we had it prior to that? We had a dose of bullishness in, in mid-May, okay? Never got ex super extreme. Kick it back, nothing in April, nothing in March, which is really, you know, kind of amazing because when you think about it, I mean, look at that move in March, okay? Well, that was a little too soon to all the, the panic and fear and everything was generated there. Didn't get a lot of bullishness, but look at the top in January, okay? the 23rd through the 30th, and then this had built all of December and all of January, and then it peaked the 23rd through the 30th. That's exactly what I've got circled right here, okay? So extreme bullishness with the put-to-call traders on the, uh, the Chicago Board of Options Exchange, extreme bullishness here on the NASDAQ. All right, now I want to take a look at, uh, looked at the weekly chart. Okay, so this chart is, is pretty interesting. And, you know, I've got this as if five waves completing minor wave five. Facebook seems to match up with that. Okay, so let me zoom back out of Facebook. Okay, we had this big corrective move to the downside here. It got support right around in the heart of all this trading at 150. And now it looks to me like we've completed five waves up, very similar to what I just looked at on the NASDAQ. And now Facebook looks like it's starting to break, break down. Now, it hasn't really rolled over yet, but this I'm on alert for this. Uh, you know, like the RSI is not confirming, demand index is not confirming this last leg up new high. So watching for a rollover in Facebook. And then Apple. It's really interesting how Apple seems to be lining up with the other scenario. Apple seems to be lining up with the alternate scenario. And when you look at that alternate scenario that I've got carved out, this is what I'm watching for on Apple. So again, you know, if if this were to come down and have a clear zigzag type look to it and reverse off in this point in here, then we'd be looking at, you know, a, a trend line up like this of some kind. And then I connect this low if I can get a hold of it down like this and this would be our ending diagonal pattern that'd be coming and when this ends then you're going to break down out of this very very quickly just like Intel did out of its uh, ending diagonal pattern so this is what I'm watching for on Apple and looking for setups as it starts to play out and uh, we'll see what happens here uh, this coming week on the next. Of course, we're going to have a shortened week this coming week, holiday on, on the 4th, 4th of July. Everybody have a wonderful weekend and a great week. Uh, there's, the volume is probably going to be a lot less this week. It usually is, especially when you've got the uh, holiday right in the middle of the week. All right, everyone. Talk to you on the next video. Oh, by the way, oh, I do want to mention, forgot to mention, uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. And uh, if you'd like to get more insight, trade ideas, become an insider member, click on my image on the screen, head on over to joehenches.net. Now, everyone have a great weekend.